first of all, what's going on? It's an honor and a privilege to have you down here, back at the nation. And we know you got your own things going on, and we, we want to applaud you with that. But for people that don't know, Cam Newton, what's going on with you, brother? Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. So it's been a lot going on with the, the with the camp and the fight, and we gonna get into that. But we we glad to see what you got going on with your show and things of that nature. How are you liking it? I think it's, it's lovely. You know, the transition from football wasn't really difficult for me because I've always been like a, a outgoing personality. But it's definitely been good. I've had some bumps along the way, but you know, I stay in the pocket, so everything is good. And so now. With this incident, first of all, we see you were trying to do something nice for the kids. Is, is, am I yeah, getting that correct? Definitely, definitely. Youth um, football league that I've been trying to be a part of for several, for a little while now. And so now it was like controversy with one of the kids. Oh, wow. I don't, what I don't even know. If the, I thought they was kids when they ran down on me. I thought they was children. So I tried to refrain from just tossing them around. But then I realized they were adults by the, the language that they was using and the profanity. And right. one thing led to another. I'm not proud of the altercation, but come on. You know, just because I don't throw footballs no more don't mean I won't throw anything around. So I think that, you know, they had to learn that the hard way. And so now, was there any repercussion? Did the police talk to you? Did they actually the talk to me because they realized that I was getting jumped. I was being jumped. And when you're getting jumped, nobody, and I repeat, nobody can't tell you how to defend yourself when you're being jumped. It's just that the way I handled them, it looked like I was the aggressor and they were children, but that wasn't the case. I'm still an athlete, just cause I'm retired don't mean that I don't stay in shape and I don't do what I need to do to stay healthy. Now we would definitely say that people would think twice about running up on you if we could I say want that. Them to, you know, I thought that I was gonna have this type of situation with um, Charleston White when he got up, and but he knew better. And I didn't really want to, you know, he's a small guy to me. A lot of these guys are small guys to me, but when they come in packs and droves and act like wolf packs, you got to treat them as such. Bruh. Yeah, you would like toss and be real. It was real yeah. But it, yeah. All right, so now, any upcoming things we need to look at, look forward to? Yeah, I got, a, I got a, a lot of um, coveted guests coming on my show, my podcast. And I want you to stay tuned because I got a lot of real good interviews. And I don't want to say that I'm, you know, in competition with anybody, Shannon. Said, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Like that, I'm not in competition, but I will be out doing a lot of my um, contemporaries in this year because I got a lot of hot guests and topics I'm um, lined up for this year. And how would you feel about like people doing the interviews with the people you had to fight with? I don't think it's a problem because I think that they have their own perspective and they want to get some things off their chest that they weren't able to get off that day. So I think they should go and communicate these things as opposed to trying to create chaos and come at camp. You know, I might, I, I might, I seen a little kid selling shirts that said, don't come at camp. I might endorse that. Don't come at camp. Go and communicate if you have a grievance. But thanks for coming down to the nation and speaking with us. Cam Newton, people. Thanks for having me. Cam.